Hello friends, uh, today is my 22nd presentation for the finance and accounts team and the subject is ethical aspects in the sales and income related financial reporting in PL and p &L account. This can also be useful for the sales and uh, marketing function. Uh, what are this is my 53rd presentation considering all the YouTube presentation that I have made so far. Uh, I have included the following aspects in this presentation. Uh, what are the seven essential features for all types of financial reports, be it PNL or balance sheet or cash flows? Uh, summary of 62 heads that are applicable for the PNL reports. These have been listed. Uh, summary of 73 heads that are applicable for balance sheet reports. They have been listed. Uh, narration of 17 line items or heads relevant to these sales and income report. Now all this is being prepared in the context of a large manufacturing uh, uh, and selling company uh, keeping in mind particularly the vehicle industry. But uh, all these line items are usually applicable for all kind of companies. Uh, next is uh, listing of 11 common operational plus unethical causes that affect the accuracy of the financial reporting of p &L, uh, or balance sheet. Uh, listing of unique operational unethical aspects applicable for all these 17 uh, line items related to the sales and income uh, heads and uh, the 65 heads have been 65 aspects have been identified which are operational come unethical. So total 11 plus 65 uh, 76 aspects which are important from the financial accounting reporting purpose. <coughs> Now what are the seven essential features for financial reports of all types? Uh, primarily these are under three categories uh, broadly. Uh, number A is investor protection and transparency related uh, by applying the appropriate accounting standards for ensuring relevance and reliability, comparability, disclosure requirements. Accounting standard numbers are not given because all finance team are familiar with that in any case. Uh, financial statement construction must be based on, our this is point B, this must be based on the going concern uh, assumption, accrual accounting based on the revenue earned and expenses incurred and maturity principle. And point C is that investment decisions, the, the financial reporting must enable investment decisions based on the company's financial health, profitability and growth potential. So these are the seven essential features uh, which are applicable to any type of uh, reports. A summary of 72, 62 heads or line items that are applicable for PNL reporting. Now, these are this broadly under four, four categories. One is the income or revenue, 17 heads. This I will share subsequently. Key expenses, 14 heads or line items. Other expenses, 23 heads or line items. Finance and accounts related expenses, 8 heads or line items. In this presentation of today's presentation, I will be covering primarily income or revenue related 17 heads. Then for the uh, balance sheet purpose, there are broadly 73 heads which are under the following categories, shareholders funds 5 heads, non-current liabilities 12 heads, current liabilities 4 heads, fixed assets 2 heads, other non-current assets 17 heads, current assets investments related 9 heads, inventory related 6 heads, uh, receivable related 2 heads, cash and cash equivalent related 6 heads and current assets others 10 heads. So this total up to 73 heads. Now narration of 17 heads or line items related to the uh, sales and account uh, sales and income reporting. These are primarily uh, income from the sales revenue which is end products and spares as I mentioned in the beginning. Income from sales revenue services, deduction towards in incentives paid to the channel partners or the customers, deduction towards rebate or discounts given to the channel partners, additional towards export incentives, additional towards dividend income from investments, additional towards the sale of investments, additional towards the sale of investment in foreign currency. Uh, addition towards the interest on deposits, addition towards interest on loans and advances given by our company, uh, addition towards interest on receivables if received, uh, addition towards interest income on the current investment in the subsidy or JV or associate companies, addition towards rental income, uh, similarly addition towards rental income on the equipment uh, lease, early one was the income in, on the properties, sale of fixed assets, uh, addition towards sale of scrap and other miscellaneous. So these are broadly 17 heads under which the sales and income reporting uh, usually falls. Now list of the 11 common items which are operational 
plus unethical that affect the accuracy of the financial reporting in PNL all balance sheet. These are common. Uh, uh, lack of transparency in the computation value. Missing out a few transactions inadvertently. Inconsistency in financial reporting from year to year. Insufficient or non availability of the supporting documents for proper accounting. Insufficient disclosures. Non implementation of the segregation of duties in terms of maker checker approval concept. Applying incorrect accounting standards. Weak internal controls. <coughs> these are the primarily the uh, mostly these are the operational aspects, but one of the one or two could also be treated as a unethical aspects. <coughs> Uh, the unethical aspects primarily are deliberate manipulation of the following uh, in the algorithm that determine the value of the value by the ERP or software solution being used by the company vis a vis uh, selling price or purchase rate or taxes like GST or income tax or custom duty, etc., or deduction or additions in the formula uh, conditions that make up the final price net in, uh, invoicing classification accounting heads in the general ledger and other commercial terms impacting financial and so on that means deliberate manipulation of the following in the uh, algorithms based on which the invoicing is done similarly uh, uh, or invoicing is done or even in the case of purchases the taxes are paid <coughs> uh, maliciously accessing and uh, making unauthorized changes in the following uh, particularly in the erp environments which is uh, master data tables and fields therein, configuration tables and fields therein, data tables and from the back end, end of the fields, <coughs> uh, financial accounting documents and fields from the back end making changes and compromising of the statutory compliances, which are as relevant. So, these are the common 11 uh, operational plus unethical as, uh, causes that can affect the PNLL or balance sheet accuracy. Our focus today is on the uh, sales and uh, revenue uh, related aspects. So, out of the 17 aspects which I am saying, so the first aspect is the income from our sales, revenue, and products and spares related. Now, uh, for ensuring that the uh, uh, the income from sales, revenue, and products spares related is uh, correct, accurate, so one has to ensure that revenue or income is correctly reported without overstating revenue uh, by premature reporting. Likewise, ensuring that the sale invoice is promptly raised to avoid under-reporting of the sales or for items if they have already been shipped out against the gate pass uh, is important. Reversing uh, reversing any sales invoices where end products or spares are yet to be shipped but already built, this is called bill and hold. Uh, likewise, for export sales, counting sales only once the shipping bill for the boarding on the ship is prepared. Um, and not merely based on the company's invoices. Uh, recognizing the sales revenue only after it is earned and after associate costs are incurred. Prompt accounting for all the unauthorized sales return. These are the six items uh, which are important uh, for accuracy of the uh, determining the sales revenue, whether on products or the spares. Likewise, for the uh, any services which are rendered, the concepts are similar from uh, 1 to 6 except for the product and space say, uh, but uh, the, and the second point is that accurate measurement of the services values which have been rendered uh, particularly those services that are complex and long term uh, rated particularly in the case of any for example any consulting consulting services which are rendered by the company. Uh, there are uh, for the third line item which is deduction towards incentives paid to the channel partner to customers three items are uh, unique aspects which are uh, allowing incentives only after ensuring that criteria for qualifying qualifying the for the incentive is uh, met uh, incentive scheme must be applicable for or for the reporting period and not for the previous report previous period and valuation of the complex competition is the incentive scheme this is very very important uh, for the fourth line item is the deduction towards rebates and discounts given to the general partners. Uh, the, uh, the points are aspects are similar to that incentives given and therefore uh, you can just simply replace the word uh, uh, incentive by rebate and discount the same points will be applicable. I am counting however as, as one unique aspect not to duplicate. Uh, line item 5 is additional towards the export incentives. You see uh, there are government schemes which, which enable accomplishment uh, on accomplishment of the exports uh, availability of the uh, export incentives 
there are four aspects which are relevant reporting eligible incident is receivable in applicable reporting period that is actual export period calculating the incentive amount accurately for the claiming on the incentive applicable uh, in the application to be made to the government body making sufficient financial disclosures for the export incentives and applying the correct foreign currency conversion factor while determining the amount of the incentive to be received sixth line item is addition towards the dividend income from the investments made by the company so dividend income should be treated as a return on investments and not part of the regular revenue income normally reporting export incident is receivable as applicable to the reporting period and actual export period proper accounting of withholding tax of the dividends received and making adequate disclosures about the source and and amount of dividends to assess a company's investment performance seventh uh, line item or head is addition towards the sale of investments uh, regarding the sale on uh, the four aspects are regarding the sale of an investment as gain and not revenue uh, proper classifying the type of the investment uh, uh, investment sale for example short term or long term uh, for tax purposes uh, correct timing of the recognition rather than too early or too uh, late accurate stating the dividends income received due to uh, due after incorporating the foreign exchange fluctuations a uh, line item or head uh, is eighth out of the 18 which is addition towards the sale of investment in foreign currency uh, concepts are similar earlier uh, but here uh, four unique aspects are five unique aspects are treating foreign currency dividend as a return on the capital or gain rather than revenue converting the foreign currency sales realization procedure into the nr uh, 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 by having the correct exchange rate For, for foreign currency and if the company uses a hedge uh, to mitigate the currency risk the gain or loss on the hedge must also be set off against the gain or loss of the uh, foreign currency investment sale itself treating income on a net basis after subtracting the cost towards commission bank fees if any and ensuring compliance with the accounting standards in the other countries uh, in the case the dividend is coming from overseas uh ninth uh, head or line item is uh, in addition towards the interest on the deposit as a income uh, including interest income on deposit in the financing activity rather than in the sales revenue proper accounting of the withholding tax applied to the interest income ensuring recording of the accrued interest income not yet received at the end of the accounting period calculating the interest earned due uh, using correct interest rate or the periods uh, this can also cause otherwise incorrect uh, uh, reporting Uh, proper a capitalization of the interest cost uh, and on the deposits uh, wherever applicable a uh, tenth line item is addition towards interest on the loans and advances given by our company here classifying the interest on loans and advances in the financial activity rather than sales revenue like earlier uh, using the correct interest rate to calculate the interest accounting for any bad debts associated with the loans and advances sometimes this is not done uh, recording the accrued interest on loans and advances at the end of the accounting period that is the interest due but not yet received uh, properly netting interest income on loans and advances given uh, with the interest expense on the loans taken uh, uh, not including interest income from non performing loans and advances as not likely to be received and proper disclosure of the likely provisions 11th line item is uh, addition towards interest on receivable usually rarely done but still Uh, wherever it is possible to receive the interest on receivable income interest income on the receivable in financial activity rather, uh, rather than sales revenue not accounting for uncollectible receivables that may reduce the interest income calculate the interest and due to uh, due using a correct interest rate or period making accurate interest rate assumption 12th point is uh, line item is uh, addition towards the interest income on the current investment in subsidiary or jv or associate companies classifying the interest income as investment income not as sales revenue using a fair valuation method for the investment proper accounting for the impairment of the uh, investment this is sometimes forgotten and considering the foreign currency fluctuation correctly 13th line item is uh, rental income on the properties neither under reporting nor in oversetting rental income proper accounting for the accrued rentals must not consider security deposit from the tenants as income as it is refundable and ensuring deduction towards repair and maintenance and insurance of property rented from renters you will find that in this Uh, 13 cases which i have mentioned overall uh, there are some aspects which are also unethical uh, uh, 14th item is uh, addition towards rental income on the equipment leased uh, same part as in the line in the previous uh, line item 
plus recording the residual value of the equipment at the end of the uh, lease term. If the lease agreement transfers the equipment ownership to the lessee at the end of the term, the lessor must record the residual value as an assets in the PNL account. Assets valuation to be done precisely. Uh, reporting potential risk of unearned rent, uh, unearned rent or repossession of the equipment due to uh, issues at the lessee's end. And if the lease equipment is owned by the lesser and subject to depreciation, ensure proper accounting of the depreciation expenses while computing the rental income. The fifteenth uh, head is uh, addition towards the sale of fixed assets. Probable classification of the income from the fixed assets sales as non-operating income rather than operating income, ensuring disclosures about the details of the sale of the fixed assets, that is, the assets type of the assets sold, its age and reason for disposal, etc. And uh, uh, lastly, uh, accurate calculation of the gain or loss due to proper valuation of the net fixed assets cost. Uh, last but one, sixteenth, sale of scrap. Uh, income from the sale of scrap. This is subtracting the disposal costs such as transportation costs or labor costs for sorting etc. while reporting the income from the sale of scrap and uh, properly reporting scrap income by ensuring that scrap sale is against a proper invoice and payment is made through check or UPI or in uh, online method and not payment is not received by cash. Last item in the, uh, the category of sales and uh, income uh, additional towards miscellaneous income not listed above providing adequate details uh, related to the description, subscription, subdescription of the so and the associated tax implication, ensuring consistency consistency in the financial reporting from year to year. Now, thus all these seventeen heads uh, for the reporting the sales revenue uh, and income are uh, the total causes which can make the uh, reporting inaccurate. Are uh, common aspects are eleven, which are given in slide number eight and nine, and unique aspects uh, uh, sixty-five, which are given in slide number. Uh, uh, 10 to 26, this total 76. Just to clarify, uh, slide number, uh, uh -huh. this is uh, 17 heads which I have mentioned uh, and uh, these are the 11 common uh, heads which I have mentioned about the uh, <coughs> common causes and then uh, one by one I have given the from the uh, line item first onward uh, till last slide uh, which is uh, uh, total, so, adding up to 11 plus 65, total 76 causes which can make the uh, penal reporting inaccurate, incorrect, including some of the operational issues and including some of the unethical issues. Now, uh, now you can refer to my second book titled Profitability and Ethics and uh, Essential Ingredients for Business Success. The book has been listed on Amazon and uh, I have given these links here. And you can also refer to several blogs on my website related to the corporate finance and accounting functions under the blogs. Now, uh, as far as the accounting standards are concerned, these are uh, or other statutory requirements are concerned, these are given in my book uh, and hence not being repeated here. You can also refer to my uh, website uh, www.ethicalprocess.com and some articles of the Facebook and LinkedIn. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.